Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, on which we're depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Friday, the 23rd day of August 2024. I bring you this update. A senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, an investor, has called for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra. Oh, yes. Now, Michael Robin, a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, an investor, has called on the incoming administration of the United States to consider the self-actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra. Yes. In an article titled, The next administration must keep an eye on Nigeria's published, on, on Nigeria, published on Tuesday, in an American journal, highlighted the need for whoever emerged as U.S. state president in the forthcoming presidential election to back the call for Biafra liberation. Oh, yes. In his words, Robin said, owing to Biafra's continued, ag continued agitation for liberation, Biafra's, it seems what it seems, one self determination. Even if they do not declare independence, however, the Nigerian government's unwillingness to address ethnic persecution and anti-Christian discrimination cannot continue. Oh yes, and this Mazisa Manikba has reacted to it, talking about the Biafra Prime Minister of the Republic Government in exile. That's Biafra Republic Government in exile. Mazisa Manikba has reacted to it, saying, quote, Thank you, Michael Robin, for highlighting the plight of the Biafra people, as well as the Biafra Republic Government in Exile self-referendum. It is a great honor for us to be discussed by someone of your prestige and eminence. End of quote. Now this is what is happening now. And the United States has the election for who occupies the White House, gathers momentum, draws near as it beckons. Yes, this senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, an investor. Yes, Michael Robin. Yes, he's calling for the next administration. Whoever emerges, whoever emerges, said should consider this Biafran people. They have suffered. Say they don't suffer for the hands of this uh, government at the center in the Zoological Republic. Say they have suffered. Persecution, ethnic persecution. Said if not for any other thing, the United States government should look into the issue of ethnic persecution. Persecuting a, a particular ethnic group because they have known their right. Yes, they say you can't continue to undermine us. You won't can you can't continue to persecute and you know subjugate us. And your intention is to annihilate us. Oh yes. Since 1967, yes, upon today's present day, and that's the only wrong, that's the only offense they committed for knowing their right, standing up to their right, defending their right. That's all. And so, this senior fellow said, the U.S. government, the incoming administration, must look into it. U.S., you know, types of freedom. They believe in freedom, they believe in free speech, they believe in a you know, free world where people will be, will be you know, uh, you know, free to exercise their liberty, their freedom. And today in Nigeria, it is not so. If you want to exercise your freedom, your liberty, they will say no. They will send troops against you. They will send their armor tanks, roll it out against such person. That is it. So Robin is saying the incoming administration must look into this issue. Yes. That is the point. So the Bear friends continue your agitation. Yes. You have been heard across the ocean, across the seas. And people are having sympathy. People are having the courage to come out and talk about the Biafra, talk about the Europeans and Americans, particularly in the, in the U.S. We salute all the 
eminent personalities in the United States of America who has come out openly to endorse Biafra. We salute all, your, all of you. Yes, particularly in the U.S. In the U.S. They are wonderful people. And so, he's saying, whoever, Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, whoever emerges has to address this Biafra issue. Enough is enough. That's what Robin is saying. Enough of this persecution. Enough of this genocide. Allow these people. They deserve Biafra. They deserve their own states. That's the point he's making here. So they deserve it. They have worked hard for it. For how many years? They have been clamoring. They have been shouting. They have been demanding for this, for their freedom. See, so this is time for the U.S. government to put eye into it. Consider them. Consider it. Yes, they have been suffering. They have been suffering exclusion, annihilation, genocide. They have been suffering it. Yes, calculated attempt to exterminate them has been there. Yes. So that is it. They will gather and they will be targeting the table. Yes. That's their own. The government at the center. They are conspiracy theory against Ndebo. Whenever they gather, it's against one particular section, a region. So how are we going to undermine them, push them back, so that they will not come to power? They will not smell it. They will not have resources. That's why they will make sure that, oh, all the oil wells in the Biafran territory, particularly in the five side eastern states, they carved it out. They systematically carved it out and called a particular region Sasat. Divide and rule. In Biafra, they divided it and said this one is Sasat. This one is Southeast. Yes, where you have the East, the most dominated, they call it Southeast. The well dominated region, they call it in the, in the, they call it Southeast. And the other one, they call it South Sat. Yes, all of them are. Ibo, they are part of Biafra. Now, this one they call Sasat. They now told them that oh, they're not Ibos. Yes. Divide and rule. They have been using to divide Ibos so that they will not you know, be together to fight for their cause. Divide and rule. They have been targeting Ndibo. So, he is saying Ndibo have suffered. The Biafrans have suffered. Allow these Biafran people to go. Allow them to go. Allow them to go. Since 1967, they have been suffering. This suffering started in 1967. Till this present day, it's still going on. Okay? The genocide, the killings, because they say they want to live. They want to have their freedom. Because they're not you know, allowed to be free. They're not allowed to compete favorably with their, with their counterparts from other regions. With other people from other region, they're not seen as equal citizens to others. Oh yes, they have been regarded as second-class citizens, and they have no option than to demand for their freedom, where they exercise their full right as human beings. Yes, and so they have not been allowed. That is the point. So we salute Robin. You are a wonderful guy, a senior fellow. Yes. A senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute.